Everything Now show. Do you know Everything Now show? Oh yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. What's up, Everything Now show? Oh, Everything Now show. Oh, I love Everything Now show. Everything Now show. That they're so fun. They're really funny. I love Everything Now show. This is fucking dope. They do this all live. God damn, such talent. The show looks absolutely wild. You're gonna have so much fun. It's Everything Now. An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices. Submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? <laughs> It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Welcome. It is I, John. Hello. Welcome in, folks. It is I, Jonks, the magical wish-granting deity. I live at the top of this mountain, and travelers journey from far and wide to my mountaintop domain, hoping that I will use my magical wish-granting powers to make their greatest desires a reality. Thank you, Go Go Gadget, for the gifted sub. But what they may not know, these travelers, is that you, yes you, the viewers at home, the Council of Jonks, you hold the true power tonight because after we meet these, uh, these travelers, and thank you, Boyfingerer, for the gifted sub. <laughs> never gets old. Never gets old saying that out loud. You hold the true power tonight, Council members, because when we meet these travelers and they tell us about what they want to wish for, I'll ask them some questions, you'll ask them some questions, and then you, the council, will vote in the democratic process to decide whether or not they are worthy of having their wishes granted. There are a variety of other ways that you can interact tonight. Some of you have already discovered the subscribe button. Thank you all for your subscriptions. Phil Nam, Go Go Gadget, anybody who I missed, thank you for your subscriptions if you subscribe tonight. Not only will you be helping us hit our sub goal, which you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we're already at, haha, it says 420. Haha. Uh, Hype train. Hype train. Let's break the record. Uh, not only will you be helping us hit our goal for tonight, and if we do, the chat will go to therapy. <laughs> Finally. Finally. It's a no. Uh, but not only will you be helping us hit our goal if you subscribe tonight, you'll also get to sign our guest book. Let's have a look at the guest book. Here's some, here's some entries from last time. Bongwater said, is this the line to, f okay. Oh, alright. Alright. Come on. Please. Write something nice in the guest book for once. Someone, Cameron Farmer says, ow my ass. In quotations, they wrote that in quotations. Uh, we got a couple other ones here. They're really small for me now. Where's Magical Michael is some, what someone wrote. I think that was Swag Jaguar. Thank you. Anyway, folks, we're going to be turning the page tonight in the, uh, in the guest book, which means some blank pages ready for your entries. Gappy V. Thank you for the sub, Gappy V. Let's shout out Gappy V. Gappy V. Thank you, gang. Fellow hidden gem. Pardon me. If you don't already, you gotta follow Gappy V. Uh, Gappy, go ahead and let us know if you want to write something in the submission, or in the, uh, in the guest book using the exclamation point submissions command. And that goes for the rest of you subscribers. If you want to write something in the guest book, type exclamation point submit. And then what you want to write. There's also some other ways you can interact tonight. There's a magical phone booth that you can trigger with the sound alerts. Let's take a look at that. Bring in the phone booth. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, ah, yes, by using bits to trigger the magical phone booth sound alert, we can call anybody from the traveler's present, past, or future, maybe? I don't know if we've ever done that. Living or dead, the magical phone booth can connect you to anybody in the world. Uh, you can also trigger a bonus wish for the traveler. And those images that we'll be using in tonight's bonus wishes 
were submitted in our Discord. Here's a placeholder. This one wasn't submitted by anyone. This is just one that we think is funny. We keep it there. But the images used for tonight's bonus wishes were all submitted by in the Everything Now Show Discord. So if you haven't already, you gotta join the Everything Now Show Discord. Submit some images. You might see yours used as a bonus wish tonight. And of course, there's the most important way to interact tonight. You'll notice in the top left-hand corner of the screen, for $5, at any point when we're meeting one of these travelers, you can donate $5 and that will trigger a sacrifice, a human sacrifice, where I will eat the traveler, blood, bones, and all. Yes. So if a uh, traveler's given you bad vibes, if you think they're evil, or if you just feel like maybe they put a little bit too much effort into their costume, go ahead and kill them with my mouth. We got a guest book. Oh, we've got our first guest book entry. Let's take a look at that. Gappy V says, Obamna. Oh, so true. So true. So true, King. Obamna. Oh, all right, well, with all of that out of the way, with all the housekeeping out of the way, I think it's time now to meet our first traveler of the night. Oh, goodness. Traveler, you're being absorbed into the stone floor. Are you all right, Traveler? I understand that it can sometimes be difficult to scale my mountaintop domain, but you appear to have had a harder time than many. Yeah, I, uh, I don't feel so good. All right, do you need, do you need to, like, take a breather? Can you hear me okay, Don? Probably not. Probably would be way better if you were standing up near the microphone. Okay. You carried that chair up here? Is that a, is that a metal folding chair? No wonder you're so tired. You carried that all the way up here? It's a metal folding chair. All right. <laughs> How's that going, John? That's probably probably nominally better, audio-wise. It's going well, Traveler. What brings you to my mountaintop domain? If you don't, if you don't know me, I'm uh, Don Don Cheadle on a Managuchi. Don Don Cheadle on a Managuchi. You can just call me Don Don Cheadle. Okay. I think I'll do that. Don Don Cheadle, what is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? Oh, I'm cursed. Ah. Uh, I'm cursed, my big rock friend. I'm sorry to hear that, Don Don Cheadle. What is the nature of the curse? The affliction. It's called, uh, well, I have a bit of a seafood diet. That is that the curse? That's the name of the curse. You've been cursed with only being able to eat seafood. Is that? Okay. I wish I was a pescatarian. Is that what that is? I think so. Wait, no. Uh, a pescatarian is somebody who can eat like vegetables. They're like basically like a vegetarian, but they also eat fish. Oh. Is my understanding. So they don't only eat fish, but they can eat fish in addition to other, like, to, in addition to like vegetables and stuff. Well, just to make things clear, I'm not going to do that. I'm just, I want to let you know. God forbid, he's standing close God to the microphone. Lord willing. <laughs> he sounds okay. All right. I'll, tr I'll try. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Listen. No, it's okay. I can do it. Mr. You're good. You're good. Don Don Cheadle, please don't don't exert it's yourself. Not that much pain. Careful, you're teetering. You're teetering on the edge of a steep drop. Wouldn't there, you believe it? Don. I've broken one of these metal frame chairs. <laughs> I can feel it collapsing <laughs> under my ass right now. Yep, I see it. We had these IKEA chairs that were made of plastic, and I was like, well, I'm gonna keep on breaking those. And lo and behold, I have managed to break a metal chair. This goes into my problem. This is part of the curse. I have a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. Ah, uh, okay. There it is. I can't stop every single all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue buffet I pass by. I have to pull over. I have to put my name in on the wait list on Yelp. I have to wait in line because I'm a single party and I'm not, at a, I'm not with other people. And I eat an entire all-you-can-eat dinner's worth of Korean barbecue. Can you tell me more about the Yelp thing? What does that mean? You put your name on a wait list on Yelp? Yeah. What is that? 
I, I, maybe I'm unfamiliar with how the website works. My understanding is Yelp is a review site. No, you can also get in line at restaurants. You can make reservations for restaurants at Yelp? Yeah. Ah. I thought Not that really was like Joe, open it's... table. No. You make a lot of reservations, Jones? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been going, trying. Pal? I've been trying to get into Le Petit Chef for years. Oh, the little guy who died. Yeah, it's like they, they have projectors over the table. Yeah. And there's like a little man. Yeah. There's like a little animated man who like cooks you a filet mignon. Oh, I'm familiar. And it costs $300 even though it's just kind of like a regular filet. I'm familiar. Tough to get in. Big wait list for that. Well, Don Don Cheadle, regardless of whether or not we grant your wish, which we still haven't quite gotten to yet, just know that you will be taking home this fabulous bonus prize. Get, get out of town. Bunch of kissies. No way. Yep. Somebody's going to come and plant a bunch of kissies all over your face really? and head. Just for me? Just for you. With big rouge lipstick. Don't tell my wife. Oh, you're married. I'm happily married, yeah. Ah. Ten years in and we're still... Don't say it. All right. Well... <laughs> You know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know what we've been doing for 10 years. And what area of her body still pones my, uh... You know what I'm gonna say. Yes, yes, we are familiar, Don Don Cheadle, and if anybody doesn't, they can go ahead and look it up. Oh, I'm sure, someone, I'm sure someone in the council will post the link to the tweet. It's my only favorited photo in my phone. Really? You use it that often? Yeah, 10 years in and we bone like we're cheating on each other with each other. Or tank slash brown slash clit area still pones my dick. Excellent. What do you, what do you want? What do you want? I love, I my, didn't wife. Want I love that. my wife. What do you want me to do? Listen, the guy's a wife guy. Don Don Cheadle. That's me. Let's get to the nature of your wish. You've traveled all this way. You've left your dearly beloved wife who's... Brown slash taint area pones your dick. All right. So Don't that you, you can dare scale. talk about her clit slash taint slash brown area like that. I'm sorry. Only I'm I sorry. can talk about her clit slash taint. In any in any event, Don Don Cheadle, you've made your way all the way to my mountain, hoping for something. What is it? What is the nature of your wish, Don Don Cheadle? I need I need uh, to rearrange the way my body works. I, I need see. to not be so reliant on food. Ah. Because I've developed a sort of emotional addiction based on it, and it's just kind of created these bad habits that are very hard to break. I it's see. Epic. Hey! It's called Ozempic King. Shut okay. Up. Seems like someone standing in line is recommending a prescription for Ozempic. You know, I'm pre-diabetic and it's going to all these freaking influencers and stuff. I can't get a hold of the thing. I see. I can't get one Ozempic pill. Not even my magical powers can find you Ozempic these days. <laughs> That's really sad. The Hollywood elite seem to be taking them all. Anyway, uh, Don Don Cheadle, what I, although I cannot offer you a prescription of Ozempic. O, uh. o, 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 Ozempic. Oh, no. Auto parts. Auto parts. I can. Ow. Bad guy. I can. That's not the commercial I was thinking. Uh, I can remove your need for food so that you can photosynthesize. Thank you very much. Please help me do that. That sounds good. I'd like to be like. Like the plants in my garden. Now, understand, Don Don Cheadle, that a potential monkey's paw of this of this wish is that in order to photosynthesize properly, you will have to spend a significant portion of your life outdoors in the sunlight. Uh, like vitamin D? Yes, like vitamin D. Okay. Do you understand, Don Don Cheadle? Is that going to be a problem? Can you tell me a little bit about your lifestyle? Well, I operate mostly at my man cave. You operate in your man cave. Yeah. What is the nature of your work, Don Don Cheadle? What is your occupation? I'm a copywriter. Ah. What do you, any, and any clients management. you might have heard, heard of? <clears throat> any clients you've heard of? Yeah, who are you copywriting for? Oh, uh, Corsair, various Etsy. <laughs> various Etsys? Yeah, various Etsys. I, I kind of like a personal chef, but for anything that needs copyright. Ah, I see. Yeah. Uh, we have potentially some questions here. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it to the council, but I, I would love to hear a sample of some Corsair copy that you've cooked up in the man cave. Uh, and council members, if you have any questions for Don Don Cheadle about his background or about his wish, uh, go ahead and, and start cooking those up now. Jocks. Yes, Don Don Cheadle. Is that Jen Korean barbecue down the hill any worth a damn? 
You mean, oh, the Korean barbecue spot at the base of the hill? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I've never tried it. I'm affixed to this mountaintop, but I've had uh -huh. travelers come and say that it's it's pretty good. They say that it's, it's like, overpriced, and so you really kind of have to go it. You kind of have to fast for the day, or, like, even the day before to get your money's worth. So that's my thing. I can't even prepare for this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, I just, I see a second Korean barbecue restaurant. No matter how full I am, I gotta eat an entire meal there. That's just the way my... I've been programmed. Well, hopefully, if the council chooses to grant your wish, you will be uh, freed of this affliction. Uh, we've got some questions here now from our council. Uh, one I'm of our listening. council members, in order to determine whether or not you're worthy of your wish, is asking if you could do a little dance. I do what I must. I dance. I did this to get my uh, my wife's dad to agree for me to marry her. Oh, okay. This is a, a courting dance. Oh wow! Kind of, kind of that foot slide thing kind of remind me of the thing they do in Dune to avoid the worm. Oh yeah, we're you seen like Dune working it like yeah, a, that a thing. regular. What do they call that? Sand walking? Probably sand, it's probably sand skating. It's probably it's probably something more lore lore adjacent. Sand skating. Uh, what well, I can do? Oh, oh my God, Don! Oh, Don! Oh, Good God, Don! Oh, Everything's fine. Are you all right, Don? I'm just gonna hang down here for the rest of the thing. You want to just vibe out on the floor? I feel better down here if that's Is okay. You, okay? you all right, Don? I'm good, thank you. You're concerning some of the other travelers. Well, you look great. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I like Beetlejuice. <laughs> that don't say it two more times. <laughs> I'm scared of Beetlejuice. No, don't say it one more time. He's gonna appear. He's gonna make me take my jacket. Don, I think it's time now to put it to a vote for our council members to decide whether or not we grant your wish to have the power of photosynthesis. Please. If the wish is granted, you will no longer have to eat ever again. Please. And me. Well, no, this isn't gonna- this isn't gonna kill you. All right. I mean, I guess unless you refuse to leave your man cave and you're- you occupy yourself with too many Copywriting jobs from Corsair and various Etsy projects. Well, I'm in the middle of writing some copy for Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. Ooh, can I'm we get a sample? Good. Can we? What are you working with? What are you cooking? Uh, mostly Dr. Pepper. Uh, what do I? Uh, What's the copy or Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you tired of tired of coking cola and all the Pepsis out there? Well, guess what? There's something that'll give you a little kick in the face. Dr. Pepper. It's crazy. It's like a punch in the face, but as a soda. And also, guess what? A little sweetness. You ever wanted to get hugged while drinking a soda? And maybe you could even drink Careful! It. Don Don Cheadle. It's like ice cream Aren't in Aren't Coke can. and Sprite owned by the same company as Dr. Pepper? Isn't Dr. Pepper a Coca-Cola brand? Is that true? ChatGPT did not tell me. I don't that. actually know if that's true. It feels... <laughs> right. Oh, you just... Okay. Uh, thank you, Andrew. So many calls. Andrew 32, I think, is what that name was for the five gifted. Look at that. We're already more than halfway to reaching our goal. It seems like you guys are all very excited to get some much needed therapy. That's fantastic. Boy finger are dropping the five gifted subs. <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of saying that. Uh, all right, here's the poll. Council members, the time is now. Did we ever get a. And, council, can someone look up uh, whether or not Dr. Pepper is owned by the Coca Cola Company? Uh, but now is the time to vote to decide whether or not Don Don Cheadle will have his wish granted. Crystal Bear, thank you for the sub. Remember when they made Dr. Pepper for men? <laughs> I do vaguely remember that. That's my idea. This one's just for the boys. Yeah, finally. Because all, all, the, all the other Dr. Peppers are a little too... A little too femme for me. Is there you know? anything... I don't know exactly what the bit is, but something about that, that old, like, riddle where it's like... The doctor was his mom, and isn't it surprising that the doctor was a woman, and then something with Dr. Pepper and only for men? Do you know what I'm getting yeah, at? Do you who, know the riddle I'm talking who's about? Who's drinking the bus, you know? I get who's it. Drinking it's very, con it's, uh, right. it's one of them thinkers, yeah. Uh, Dr. Pepper is owned by Coke in Korean. What is that? Oh! What does that mean? Thank God. In Korea? You Oh, in Korea, Coke owns Dr. Pepper? Uh, Just in Korea. Dr. Pepper is owned by Keurig? Shocking. That can't be true. Is that that true? can't be real. Where are the Dr. Pepper pods? That's what I'm asking. All right, close out the Back poll. in my day, they did hot Dr. Pepper. It was fucked up. Dr. Pepper is only owned by Coca-Cola in its European and South Korean markets. Everywhere else, it is sold, uh, it's sold its own by Keurig. Oh, I'm going to have to kill some people. Shocking. 
Well, I've got news for you, Don Don Cheadle Anamanaguchi. Lay it on me. And it's good news. Oh. The council has voted, and they have decided to grant your wish to become photosynthetic. Yes! So now all that's left to do is say the magic words. Council members, if you know them, say them with me. If you don't, you're about to learn them. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. I get it. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. One more. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Congratulations. I feel amazing. Don, Don Cheadle, Anamanaguchi, enjoy the delicious taste of sunlight. I love it. I feel no compulsions. All my addictive behaviors are gone and I've become one with mother nature once again. Fantastic. Eat your heart out, Ozempic. I'll get out of your hair now, thank you. Farewell, Don Don Cheadle. Please take your chair with you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's like a turtle. Here I go. It's like a sad, sad tortoise. Well, council members, it's starting with Jesus. Don, Don, are you all right? No. <laughs> Don. Ah, well. Well, council members, we're starting tonight off hot. Oh, my God, he died. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tragic. Well, at least he granted his wish. Did, it, did he get all those kisses from the bonus wish? We did our best, but he was already stone cold by the time we got to His him. skull caved in so easily. His skull caved in? Oh, Jesus Christ. Dry shot. thank you for the gifted sub. Look at that, folks. We're only two subs away from hitting our goal already. It's a hot night tonight at Jonks Mountain. Uh, we've gotten a, quite a few subs already. I, I gotta imagine there's been some new entries in the- Oh my gosh! Endred32. Five more gifted subs. Thank you so much. We've shattered the goal already. 23 subs, which means we've unlocked therapy for the- ch Oh my god! Oh my god! Boyfingerer! Boy a competition between Boyfingerer and Endred seems to be emerging. Boy Fister more like it. Okay, I don't know if I necessarily understand that, but uh, I guess it's just, yeah, more aggressive? More fingers. More fingers? Well, like no, I mean, evolution. I see. Okay, yes, Boy Fister is the Pokemon evolution of Boyfinger. We cannot. We can't get bogged down in this bit. He just did. Well, folks, thank you so much for your generosity. We've shattered our goal. I think we've we've got two potential travelers here who seem itching to have their- Endred- Oh my god! Endred 32! With the 20 gifted subs! Good lord! What is happening? Shocking behavior. Shocking behavior from our generous council. We've got a traveler who seems prepared uh, to, uh, to make their way to my uh, domain here, so we're gonna hear from them first, and then we will go give you what seems like some much needed therapy, Council. Holy shit, thank you so much, Endred. And hello, Traveler. My goodness, Traveler, this Traveler comes bearing a Skeletor. That's my son you're talking about. Ah, my apologies, Traveler. Don't you talk that way my about my boy. boy. <laughs> my beautiful boy. My goodness, Traveler. Traveler, take one step back. My under the magical, Under the magical shotgun microphone, please. Minus the flesh and blood. No, not that way back. Careful, Traveler. Careful. Onto the magical green tea on the floor, Traveler. The sweet spot under the magical shotgun microphone. I got my microphone. own magical tea right here. Whoa! Blue what is- Ranger, they sponsor me. <laughs> Traveler, you're sponsored? Tell me more about this incredible elixir. Whoa! Oh, Boyfinger with the 20 subs, my oh, god. Hey, thank oh, you. I feed my boy. You feed, wait, you, I'm sorry. I feed him Voodoo Ranger, not me. That is absolutely more cute. I made him an honorary Voodoo Ranger. My you, beautiful boy. Traveler, Traveler, please. I need to know more. Traveler, what is your name first? Clyde. Claude? Clyde. Clyde. Clyde, you come bearing your son my and a magical boy. elixir. My beautiful boy and my wife. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, your wife is with you too? I got my oh wife my here. god, good heavens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We made the love and the boy came out. I see. She came out of where? She's 
Uh, w was this back when she was re uh, when she was capitated? <laughs> I'm sorry, she was born this way. She was born. You watch your tone and I you see. watch your language. My goodness. You make assumptions. You make an ass out of you and me. I apologize. But yes, Clyde. I fucked her skull mouth and the baby came out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Clyde! You asked. You're right. That one's on me. Well, okay. Oh no. Roll the bumper. That's crazy. That's crazy. Clyde. Yes! <laughs> Council member Taco Tangler has donated $5 and in doing so brought you to the edge of death. How fucking dare you! <laughs> well, it's not too late though, Clyde, because... You can have your life spared. No, it. kill me, kill me. <laughs> End it. Clyde. But save my boy. <laughs> my boy, I want him to be flesh. It's all I ask. Take my life instead. The wish is to reanimate your dead son? Reanimate? He was born this way. Okay. He is as alive as he's ever been, but he's exposed to the elements. I see. That's got to be really painful for him. It hurts him. It hurts his body. It hurts his soul. And I want him to have skin. I see. Well, I suppose if he doesn't have... Does he have, a, a, like, a nervous system? Does no. He, okay. Well, then he probably isn't experiencing Give anything. him nerves. <laughs> okay. Let him feel. I see. But uh, take me. Council members, the only way to grant this wish is to spare the life of Clyde. So if anybody out there wants to donate $10 to spare Clyde, otherwise I will eat him. Please. And his and his bone son and wife. You don't have the guts. <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure who should be talking about who doesn't have guts here, Clyde. Wow, well, he doesn't the have the job. guts. I have guts. All right. Some, someone... Some, one of the council members said, eh, it's okay. Here's it's us. okay, it ain't okay. You ain't ever walked a day in your life as a skeleton. That's, well, I've never walked a day in my life in, in any form. Oh, I consider have Consider no yourself rights. lucky. In fact, I'm actually kind of similar to your wife in that way. I'm just a head. That's a pretty mouth you had there. Okay, Whoa. Clyde. Can't help but notice. I'm Clyde. a bit of a Connie, sir. <laughs> it sounds, you've, you've certainly got a type, Clyde. That yeah. much is clear. Yeah, my type. A lot ahead. <laughs> Not much else. There it is. There, boy finger, what? the hero of the night what? so far. Your your life is good. All right, Stan <laughs> Lamar. Uh, Clyde. Boy finger, how dare you? I told you to take my life. <laughs> well, if it is if it is to be sacrificed, you so desire, Clyde. You'll have to convince the council to donate five dollars. But in the meantime, fifteen. Sorry, fifteen dollars. The price has been raged, uh, raised. Raised. In uh, this economy? I know. Hard to believe. <laughs> Thanks, Biden. But with Boyfinger, anything seems to be possible tonight. In any event, Clyde, yeah. tell me more about your son. You said, you said, well, first of all, actually, I'd love to know, know more about the meat cute between you and your wife. What right. is her name? Her name? Yes. Scalita. Oh, wow, that is appropriate. And how is it that you and Scalita met, Clyde? Well, I was dancing through the graveyard. As one is wont to do. And I went, oh, Nelly. This one went properly buried. Okay, so she was just what, like loose on a pile of dirt or you something? better believe it. My goodness, and she caught your eye. Yeah, and she said, wait, no, I ain't no skull. I was born this way. She said this to you? Yep, out of her pretty little mouth. Okay, so she can talk. Of course she can. And she's just choosing to be quiet she's right now. She's being ladylike, you ah, know she is. My boy can talk too, he's a real chatterbox. <laughs> <laughs> haven't but heard much from him yet. He's being gentlemanly. <laughs> I see. I see. Let let the uh, let the uh, patriarch of the family let do Papa the business. Go to work. Right. <laughs> now, Clyde. So, so you're you're in the you're you're dancing through the graveyard. Yeah. A beautiful uh, skeletal skull catches your eye and catches your attention. Yeah. Saying that she was born this way. Yeah. I guess pr presumably she gets that a lot, and so she's sort of yeah. preempting the question. Are you a talking dead person or something like that? Right. She said, I like to hang here. I ain't no corpse, but I like to hang here because people question me less. They think I belong. Ah, uh, I see. I was born this way, and I said, oh, a fellow Gaga fan. <laughs> a fellow monster. A woman after my heart. And I said, let's skip straight to the third act. 
<laughs> wow. We make a baby that night. That night. We got married and what is your what is your what is your son Mary mind? Wow. Thank you. Big pop, big pop Thank from the line of travelers pop. behind yeah. you. Yeah. Uh Clyde, what's your son's name? Boney. Boney. <laughs> Boney. A lot of, uh, it's almost as if these people, uh, you're, you're, well, I guess you named your son Boney, so that's appropriate. Oh, no, he named himself. He named himself? Mm -hmm. Wow. I wanted him to be named Clyde, too. <laughs> and he rejected Revenge that. of the Fallen. <laughs> and Clyde, uh, okay, I see. So, so you conceived, you conceived your son Boney. Yep. The night that you met your wife. Yep. And so, I, I guess it was a shotgun marriage, huh? You guys, I assume you didn't get married that night. No, that you no, 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 no. It was a pistol. Oh, my God. Clyde, you came armed. Of course I did. I oh see. I told you I'm dying here tonight. Okay, Clyde. <laughs> my son's getting flesh, but I ain't making it out I alive. I see. Wow. Either you sacrifice me or I'll make you sacrifice me. My God. All right. Well, that is a confusing ultimatum, Clyde, but is one it? that I am I'm inclined to, to, um, uh, to accept. But I, I, I have to give it to our council. Council members, do you have any questions for Clyde? Anything you want to know about him? This, I, I feel like every detail we learn about Clyde elicits more and more intrigue. I'm an open book. <laughs> he's got more of a poker face. Uh, so much dedications to, uh, to his son. Oh, yeah, here's a question uh, from yeah. council member uh, in a pool forever. They would like to know why the gold chain? Why, you a fan of silver? The devil's medal! <laughs> Touche. You prefer I be wearing that? A, a couple of people are wondering about the story behind the chain. Is there any sentimental value or anything, or are you just kind of yes, like to be blinged out? It's a very sentimental story. Yesterday, I was walking by a jewelry shop. Yes. And I saw this chain in the window, and it made me cry. <laughs> it made you cry? Yeah. And I went, well, I'm feeling sentimental. Guess I should buy the dang thing. <laughs> Tale as old as time. Best day of my life. Uh, we have uh, some questions here. Uh, uh, one of our council members is wondering if they can have your skeleton after you die. Of course. That's sort of like a trade. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I thought you'd never ask. Wow. A man of the people, Clyde. Of course, and of the skeletons. Now, Clyde, do you have, uh, you, you've come here to wish for uh, skin, and I'm, I'm assuming the rest of the sort of like, bio, uh, like biological material Required for a, a fully formed human body yes. for your son. Nerves. Bony. Nerves. Eyeballs. Poop shoot. Poop shoot. Yes. A, a functioning sphincter. Toenail. Now, once your son has been fully, uh, I guess, reanimated, or yeah. I guess or, we're saying that he is animated, but he just doesn't have. Very much. He, he doesn't is, have all the. He's very alive. You can't shut this parts. guy up. You cannot shut him up. He's stopped moving. Well, once we equip Boney with all the mushy parts, yeah. do you have any ambitions for your son? Is there anything you. Do you hope to for him to follow? In, well, I suppose, what are your footsteps? What do you do? What do you do as an advocation? I fuck skeleton. Okay. Uh -huh. To me, that seems more kind of like a hobby, but you're saying you do that professionally? There's good money in it. Wow. You got like what? Like an OnlyFans or something? Correct. Okay. You knew. You're familiar with my work, it seems. Well, I, you know, it's my job. To, I'm, I'm, I'm omniscient, but I ask these questions so that the council is informed. I don't want my boy to be anything like me. I see. You, you don't want him to walk down that road. No, I want him to walk down the road to the White House. You want, you want your son to be the president, <laughs> or as most first States. man. Now let me ask you this. Yes. Better option than the two guys who are gonna get the noms this year. Can you disagree? <laughs> I'd, I'd, you'd, I'd be hard pressed to disagree. Little skeleton boy. <laughs> little, a little Some radical new ideas. <laughs> do you have Do you have any idea what the sort of a political affiliation of your of your son is? Does, you say he's a chatterbox. Does he ever talk? You, you guys ever chop it up about politics? Universal health care, number one, with a bullet. <laughs> All right. I can get on board with that. A bullet in every home. Number two, skeleton fucking legalized. Okay. <laughs> that one feels that feel that one feels personal. And mandatory. It's mandatory. It's like jury duty. Okay. <laughs> you gotta what? Like fuck a skeleton once a month or something? No or ticket like, only comes company? up once every four years. Oh, I see. It's and like if a you give them year. some wacky answers, they might disqualify you. <laughs> I see. It's like the Olympics. I Every four like years. Jury duty or like the Olympics okay, or I like guess, leap yeah, yeah. year. Uh, all of these are sort of uh, quad centennial. Sure. If I'm racist, do I have to fuck the skeletons? Absolutely. Okay, uh, even the even the racists have to fuck these skeletons. What? 
We don't tell you what skin the skeleton used to have until after the fucking. Uh, ah. Sometimes we play it into your hands, sometimes we're challenging your preconceived notes. Wow. And Giving this... you a little bit of a green book, making you realize we're not so different after all. <laughs> this could end racism. It could. Ooh. Some, some clansmen having sex with a skeleton and then finding out that it was a black person. At the very least, it sounds like it win best picture. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Incredible. Well, By the way, I, Ricky yeah. Stan Nicky, now streaming on Amazon from the director of Green Book. No, really? Is that yeah. true? Yeah, Academy Award winning director of Green Book made Ricky Stan Nicky. Shouts yeah. out Ricky Stan Nicky. Streaming now. Yes. Uh, well, Clyde. Uh, I, I want to see. Are there any? Is that a gun? Yes, we're well past that, Councilmember Grass Dragon. Ricky, uh, not Ricky Stanicky, Clyde. This is not Ricky Stanicky. You can call me Ricky Stanicky. I wouldn't kick you out of bed for saying it. <laughs> All right, you wouldn't. It seems like your bar for what gets kicked out of bed is fairly low. I'd say Clyde. it's fairly high. No flesh, please. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see, so it's skeletons only. Yes. I see. And I'm not much of a body man, as you might have noticed. Yeah, I got it. I guess, like, yeah, the, the tits or ass conversation is long gone with you. Uh, My gun seems to quit on me. Is there? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yes. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, is there, uh, speaking of tits or ass, Clyde, yeah. is, is, there, is there a skeletal equivalent for someone who's into fucking bones? Like, is, what's the, like, what's the... What's the tits or ass for skeleton fuckers? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? What what turns us on? Well, I'm like, you know, like, with flesh, it's like a boobs guy or a butt guy. But with yeah. skeletons, is it like a femur guy or a clavicle guy? Or like, is Correct. there... Nailed it on the first okay. time. <laughs> yeah, right. Couldn't have said it better myself. Got it. We've got some other pitches from the council. Ribs or pelvis. Let me hear them. Let me hear them. Uh, ribs or pelvis, collarbones. Sure. Are what some people are. We were getting a lot of shoulder blade width. Yeah. Femur or clavicle, tag yourselves. All right. In my opinion, boobs and butt are for the unimaginative. Mm. It's a lot easier to appreciate them if they exist. But you look at a skeleton and you sort of tilt your head and you go, what if? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a little bit interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Open your mind, folks. Exactly. It's not what's it's not what's on the outside of a, a potential partner. It's what's on the inside. I and mean, by inside, yeah. we mean their bones. Skeleton, I mean, look at Ricky Stanicki. On the outside, it seemed like a meathead. Right. A muscle bro. Right. A man who writes parody songs about jerking off. Yes. But on the inside, he actually was a talented actor and a sweet man. And full of bones. Ricky Stanicki. <laughs> <laughs> now Thank streaming. You. Thank you. Well, Clyde, uh, I, I think it's time now to give our council members an opportunity to decide the fate of your son, Bones. Please kill me. <laughs> if you have, I was going to give you an opportunity to make a closing statement now to convince the council to take your side. They're about to vote whether or not to grant your wish to give your son all the mushy parts. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want to say to the council now? You can speak to them directly. Yeah, can I get a, can I get a real tight zoom? Yeah, let's get a tight one on Clyde. I got a tight zoom. You might get covered by the... <laughs> <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Add action, add action. Look into my eyes. <laughs> I don't think anything needs to be said because it's all right there on my oh, face. No, bones. No. It's all right there. <laughs> You know what to do. <laughs> All right, I've seen enough. Close out the poll. It's a runaway. It's a landslide. The council has spoken. And emphatically, they have decided, Clyde, that your wish to make Bones a real boy... What? ...will be coming true. Oh, no. Yes. What Clyde. a nightmare. <laughs> Wait, Clyde, you wished for this. Because he told me to. <gasps> oh, you didn't want this. No. I you wanted him to stay bones. I think it's a dangerous proposition. Well, the, the monkey's claw curls, Clyde, because it is time now to grant your wish. What? With the magical words, and then somehow we're going to put skin on this guy. Here we go. Wibbity wobbity, let's zoom in on me. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. What? Wibbity wobbity wonks. 
Your wish has been granted by Junks. This one's gonna take extra power, so I'm gonna say this last oh, line really slow. <laughs> Wibberty Wobberty Wonks. Your wish has been granted by Junks. And let's look at the fleshified bony. Oh my god! They're hideous! Wait a minute, we wished we got your wife too? That wasn't what I wanted! We turned your wife into I look it's like a salt lick. Look at her disgusting nose! I'm sorry. Look at my terrifying boy! Well we could we, the nose is mostly cartilage, Clyde, so we, we there was no way of knowing what his nose would look like. America will never vote for him! That face don't belong on a bumper sticker! Clyde, we need to- Surprise, under the pants! Yeah, Clyde, we need to ensure that he's biologically correct. Can you- he's can you pull down his pants? pants? Can you pull down his pants? Let's just make sure. Oh, oh boy. boy. Yep. Oh boy. Yep, that doll's got a dick and balls. And a beautiful brown belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, close it up, close it up. Brought to you by Voodoo Ranger. Brought to you by Voodoo Ranger. Are you watching, Voodoo? Is there a line? <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Congratulations, Clyde, on your new, your newly genital son, and your wife with the beautiful porcelain skin, you and still no body. <laughs> you're all gonna rule the day and let this happen. Thank you, thank okay. you, Clyde. Thank you, Clyde. Council, we've done it. A second wish granted on the night. Well done. Now, it appears that we have 69 out of 20 go subs in our goal. Thank you so much, mainly to Boyfinger and what was the other guy who keeps donating a shitload of subs? Can I get the name on that? Boyfinger? No, it was Edrin36. Edrin32. Edrin32. Edrin Thank you so much to both of you and to everybody else who subbed tonight and contributed. Surely we've got some new entries in our guest book by now. There's been 69 subs. I, I gotta imagine there's more than just Obamna. <laughs> All right, we've got two others. Uh, Go Go Gadget says, the guy in front of me, official AAP. Hey! Whoa! Edrin. Come on now. Ensuring that I don't forget their username. Edrin, thank you so much. Jesus. Jesus. You going off for real for real, king or queen. Thank you so much for the 20 more gifted. Uh, Go Go Gadget 360 says, the guy in front of me, official AAPW, asked for an improv wrestling format, but got an improv fishing format. Junks might want to look into a hearing aid. Sorry about that, official AAPW. I will be looking into that. And Dryshot said, Junks vomited several legs onto me. 10 out of 10. Will visit again. Sounds like Dryshot's got some sort of fetish. All right, folks. Thank you for your guestbook entries. If you've subscribed already tonight and you want to write your own entry in our guestbook, go ahead and let us know what you want to submit by typing the exclamation point submit command and then your entry. You'll see your uh, thing appear in the guestbook. But folks, we've shattered the goal. We're at 89 of 20 subs, which means it is now time for some much needed therapy. Yes, counsel, I can't help Everyone, I am just a demigod with magical powers, but thankfully the good people at best help are here to solve your problems Those of you who cannot travel all the way to my mountaintop domain And so now council members you will get a chance for some help from the good people at best help We'll visit back here for some more wish granting after this
Oh, uh, yo, hey there, what's up? My name's Glue Trap Acetaminophen. I'm a personal trainer. I own a gym on, on Gawanga. It's a five by five space, but we have kettlebells. So, but normally I do physical training, but today I'm here to help you with your brain, your mind stuff. So like, if you got anything you got going on, I can help you out and talk you through it. Change is hard. How do I cope with an uncontrollable world? So you're gonna wanna do five by five reps with a one minute break between sets. Uh, I want to find love. Okay, what you're going to want to do is run up and down the block and you're going to want to high knee that, okay? So it's not just regular jogging. You want to get high knee because you want to get your flexibility and stuff. How do I grow my delts? Talk to your parents. Try to work through some of this stuff that maybe you've worked through like in therapy, but like talk to them. Talk to them about it, you know? There's no sense just going no contact, you know what I mean? They're your parents at the end of the day and it can be hard, but like take your space and then find the time to work through your shit because they're real people too. They're going through shit just like you. How do I grow my heart to learn how to love? Um, you're gonna wanna do these resistance bands in the back of the room. You're gonna wanna do the, a few of those, okay? And they're gonna, you're gonna wanna do the 10 pounders, okay? I'm looking at you, I feel like you can handle it, all right? How do I get my foreskin back? Uh, you know, there's actually like a really nice bar. It's called the, the Agua Bar down the street. I don't know if they got foreskins or whatever, but they have a pretty good deal on fried chicken during happy hour. And I feel like if, you, if you're if you like creative, you can make that work, the skin of a fried chicken. Uh, should I suppress my dark urges? Look, you're gonna wanna do some, there's some work on the treadmill. Now I don't like using the treadmill. I like to get folks out on the trail, just up, to, up the way on Griffith, you know, in Griffith Park. If you're down there and you're doing some work, you, you know, Peace and love, peace and love. Nice. I am Ringo Starr, yeah. and I am here to help you. We have 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, no more advice will be given. Not on this app or from either of my homes. How do, uh, it's going so fast. Um, how do I open this pickle jar? It's stuck real bad. Peace and love, peace and love. Run it under some room temperature water. That should loosen it up for you. No problem. I have a... Okay, I'm not gonna read that one out loud. Uh, my local government is making me fuck a skeleton. How do I cope? Peace and love, peace and love. Fuck the skeleton, that's what you're supposed to do. It's how you feel united with your country. How is the afterlife? Peace and love. I am still alive. I am one of the two Beatles that are still alive. Peace, peace and love. love. <sighs> is Pete Best still around? Yeah. Can I send you fan mail? No! Where's my gun? No! I will find you. I will find you and I will end you. Are you voting for Boney? Yes, of course I am. Um, it's all these Boney bros that are gonna take us down. Um, Pete Worst. Oh, jeez. What, what war? What is it good for? Peace and love. Absolutely nothing. Peace and love. Ringo, I love your art. Thank you, dear. Thank you. What are my thoughts on Thomas the Tank Engine? Well, if you have a minute, I personally believe that Thomas the Tank Engine is quite... Hey there. Hey guys. <laughs> it's me, Mausoleum. Um, so I'm like trying out being a furry. I don't really know how it works yet, but I'm sort of examining it. But I'm trying new things, trying being a furry, and I'm gonna help you guys because uh, I feel like I'm really capable. Okay, um, you're having trouble connecting with your peers. Do you have any advice? Hmm. I don't really know other people that much, but I feel like <laughs> if I were to interact with other people, I would probably just sort of stroke them a little bit, but just a little bit away. Not just, just see, test them. Do these ears come with Wi-Fi? Is that a thing? <laughs> Do, I really, I just wikied this. I just wikied furries and I'm trying it on. Do you, 
Um, how do I get mounted by a furry? What is that? Is that, I really just, I need to look at some websites. Do you guys have information? Should I invest in a big tall? If that's your size, then yes. But make sure it fits first, because it's those are more expensive than regular clothes, I think. What's the hottest mental illness? I feel like bipolarism. I just feel like, because it's sort of like, what's gonna happen? It's like sort of unexpected and sort of risky. Can I poop in my fursuit? Um, if you have like a good system in there, like a good ventilation system, I think. Would you love me if I was a worm dressed as a cat? Yeah, I think I would. I think I would. How do you put on your tail? Hello. <laughs> My name is Dr. Lupus Tamarind. I've been a therapist for 83 years. Normally what I'll do is I'll just take out your brain and put it on a table and smash it with a tiny hammer, but they said that's not legal anymore. So here I am on best help. I'm ready to give you some advice. <clears throat> Why PP so small? I'm sorry, that's probably genetic most likely. There's nothing really you can do. Maybe get Ponuma, the penis enlargement surgery. But I've heard that it leaves you permanently hard, which may be uh, something that you wouldn't like. So maybe don't do that. Why pee pee so big? Again, probably some sort of genetic. <laughs> I'm basically squatting right now. <laughs> My legs are shaking as I give you advice. 40 seconds. Why pee pee so average, you're good. Don't worry about it. Are you a ghost? <laughs> no, I'm very much alive and well. I am doing a full squat. <laughs> I wish you could see it. <laughs> Good form. My thighs are burning. Uh, when is Mega Man going to come shoot you? <laughs> <laughs> that little devil will get nowhere near me. Okay. Why do I only have one pee pee? It's normal. It's normal! Good God. Oh. Hello, Shabbat Shalom, happy Passover. <laughs> you can step in closer because the glasses don't work. <laughs> what is normal? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Why does my head get wet? <laughs> That's how you know it's working. Just stand still. Just stand real still. Just stand real still. <laughs> Just stand right there. <laughs> Don't you move a muscle. Don't you worry. Not gonna have to worry about wet butt for much longer. Butt's gonna be dry. Stand still. <laughs> Stand real, just stay steady. It's a process and you gotta let it work, okay? Let me just... Do you have any artificial implants? This feels like there's a little bit of a feedback issue. So if you just, if you have fillings, if you have metallic fillings, or you have an artificial hip, that was supposed to be acknowledged on the questionnaire, just stand real still. 
just sand real still. With the tech of the future, psychology doesn't have to exist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> just stand real still. Okay. Well, they're a kissing cousin of what I do. Okay. Stand real still. Let me just... Oh, okay. Welcome back, council members. Oh, we gotta we gotta move the uh, sub goal thing. I changed it to I think 150. <laughs> anyway, folks, welcome back. If you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. I am a magical wish granting demigod. I reside at the top of this mountain and travelers journey from far and wide to my mountain top domain, hoping that I will use my magical powers to make their greatest desires. A reality but what they may not know is that you yes you the council the viewers at home you hold the true power tonight because you will ultimately decide by vote whether or not these travelers are worthy and you can also decide whether or not they are sacrificed I almost forgot I almost forgot that part you okay Jonks? I'm good I'm good uh, folks, we've met two travelers already so far, and we've granted both of their wishes. We've also got 110 <laughs> subs already, somehow. Really insane shit. Um, we've done some therapy. We just came back from some therapy, and if we want to do a little bit more therapy tonight, uh, I guess we've set it at 150 subs tonight. So, I guess if we get, if we get 40 more, we'll do more therapy. But in the meantime, there are a variety of ways that you can interact. You can subscribe, and if you do... You get to write something in our guest book. Any any new entries in the guest book since we uh since we went to therapy? I'll I'll vamp for a little bit. Uh, there's a variety of other ways that you can interact tonight. There's also the magical phone booth. We haven't used the magical phone booth yet tonight. You can trigger the magical phone booth to appear here on my mountain by using the sound alerts. And don't forget also that you can use the sound alerts to trigger bonus wishes. Yes, bonus wishes that feature images submitted by you, the viewers at home, submitted in our Discord. So if you haven't already, you gotta join the Everything Now Show Discord, folks. That's where you submit images, and if you do, you might see yours used in the show tonight. So get in the Discord, submit an image in the submissions channel. Alright, let's take a look at the guest book. We've got some, some new entries here. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. We got one from Go Go Gadget, and another one from Go Go Gadget who says, I was just hanging out in line, waiting my turn, when two people behind me started fighting over who could, uh, do give... I'm sorry, am I having a stroke? Two people started fighting over who could do give more tribute to Jonks. It was kind of creepy, but also cool. 69 out of 69. Thank you, Go Go Gadget, for your submission. 
and Endrind32, hero, one of, one of the two heroes of tonight's stream. Uh, once you go black skeleton, you never go back again. Okay, well... <laughs> You just call All it. right. It's a good thing you clarified there. Right here. I'm glad I. I'm glad. I, I guess there's technically nothing problematic about that. It just sounds horrible. <laughs> it sounds terrible. It might be fucked up. But I guess if we really think about it's it and really dissect, it's well, it's not up to us, and I think we should stop thinking about it. <laughs> anyway, folks, if you want to write your own entry in the guest book tonight, go ahead and subscribe. And then type exclamation point submit followed by your entry. You'll see your message appear in our guest book, just like those. And if we get 40 more, we'll do more therapy. But in the meantime, folks, it's time now to meet our next traveler. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! I made it all the way up here. Traveler, you made it all the way up here. I made it. That was a long walk, Jonks. I, it is indeed. Than I thought. Well, in order to use my magical wish-granting powers, I must test my travelers with a daunting a journey. And it seems that you've passed that test. Traveler, what is your name? My name is Jaden Frisky. <laughs> Jaden Frisky. Jaden Frisky. All my friends call me JJ, though. Well, consider me a friend now, JJ. Oh, <laughs> JJ, what is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? Well, I have a little dream. The littlest dream that a little boy could ever dream. And I really want to join my favorite music group, The Roots. The, the Roots! I really <laughs> JJ, I'm not particularly familiar with pop culture living here in this remote mountain range. I'm not familiar with The Roots. Can you tell me a little bit about the band? Um, well, they're Jimmy Fallon's house band. Okay. Um, and they're a soul funk group. Um, they're they're just amazing. I mean, they have a great uh, repertoire, and everyone loves them. And I think that I'd be a great addition to the group. I think I'd bring a lot. And I see, JJ, that you're holding a musical instrument. <laughs> this old thing. A saxophone. <laughs> JJ, are you able to play the saxophone? <laughs> Some people call it that. I call it... Showing my passion. Showing your boy finger. Yeah. Thank you. 20 more. Holy shit. Okay. Um, showing your passion. Yeah. They say that music is all about passion. Mm. JJ, I want to hear some of your passion. Thank you very much. Beep bop, beep bop. No, 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 Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> And JJ, you're telling me that the Roots haven't already invited you to join the band after hearing that? <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> I need to come down. <sighs> when the when the passion of music flows through me, I just <sighs> um. Well, <sighs> I've sent them demos. You've sent them demos I've sent them of up. that. Yeah. Was that an original piece that you just played? Um. Yes. I, I see. sort of. I'm an improviser. I, oh, wow. Um, well, so, I just kind of, I just open up my valves, and the spirit rushes in. Incredible. Mm. Well, JJ, I'm not sure why the Roots haven't already recruited you to join their band, but that is a valid wish, and we can make it happen if the council so approves. Ooh. But we're going to have to see whether or not you can earn the respect and trust of our council members. Council, do you have any questions for JJ? Anything you want to know about JJ? I've got a question for you, JJ. Why specifically The Roots? Now, there's a ton of bands out there, some of them presumably also potentially in need of a saxophone player. Is there any, is there any connection that you have specifically to The Roots? Well, I want to keep an eye on Jimmy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me more. Speak on that. <laughs> I'm just a little worried about him. You're wor oh, this is coming from a place of, of worry. Uh, what is it that you worry about Jimmy? Well, I just, you know, I heard that something bad happened to him with his finger, and I want to make sure that that doesn't happen again. <laughs> because one time an ant bit me on the finger, and it really hurt. It was the biggest hurt I ever hurt in the world. And so when I heard something happen to his finger, I thought... I gotta keep an eye on him and make sure that doesn't happen to him again. I see. And you thought the best way to do that is to join the Roots. 
You're something of an empath, JJ, and I respect that, but it appears that somebody has triggered the magical phone booth, oh. which means we're gonna get somebody on the line. Maybe it'll be Jimmy Fallon, who knows? Careful, that oh, thing comes in so. real fast. All right, oh. go ahead and make your way up to the magical phone booth and uh, pick up that phone. Oh. Yep, right there. Uh, we're gonna connect you. Sometimes it can take a minute depending on where this magical phone booth is connecting us. It, it can travel through time as well, so... Uh, we're gonna see who's on the line. Who's there? Who's there? Uh, well, hey, what's up? You got the foul man. Oh, it's Jimmy oh, Fallon. Jimmy! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jimmy, are you okay? I love your little games that you do. <laughs> who, am I, who am I talking to? Am I talking to a PA? This is, this is JJ. I, I... Oh, you're not a PA, though. No, I Okay, mean... I was about to scream at you so loud. <laughs> Please don't scream at me. I'll cry. Um, I, I I really want to make sure you're okay, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <Are> you okay? <laughs> no. Oh no! What's wrong? You know, you know Obama. I, I've I've I, I've heard about him in history books. He won't return my calls. <laughs> oh, have you tried hitting him up on WhatsApp? <laughs> no, 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 I have the direct line to the White House, silly. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, no, Jimmy. Even I know he's not in there anymore. <laughs> oh, but, you know, Joe's good for it. He knows. He knows his number. Have you asked him to put you in touch with him? You're making me really mad. You're asking so many questions. Oh, no, Jimmy, I'm so sorry. It's my job to ask the questions. Do you, do you, what do you like doing what you do? Um, I love <laughs> Oh, God. This is too much for a child to bear. Step away from the phone. <laughs> Step away from the phone. Step away from the phone. Step away. Careful, JJ. The phone is gonna. Yep. Careful. Watch your feet. I know. Yeah. We don't know where that goes. Oh no. JJ. Yeah. I hope that you enjoyed your phone call with Jimmy Fallon. It was really fun. <laughs> My parents don't let me use the phone. Your parents don't let you use the phone. No. Do they know that you're here, JJ? They drop me off at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> oh well, that's uh, that's crazy. And then they drove them. away. And they drove away. Well, I don't know. Where are they, they going to come pick you up after this? I don't know. We have a question here from no. Council Member Milk and Suffering, who wants to know how old is JJ? I'm I'm nine. Nine years old. Nine. Well, you don't look a day over eight, JJ. Oh, you're sweet. You're to gonna say make that. it in this town. Thank you. I have a feeling. Uh, any other questions, council members, for JJ regarding his plans to join the Roots as their? I'm presuming you're you're looking to join as their saxophone player. Yes. I yes. I see. I do, are we? Do we know if, if the Roots currently have a sax uh, saxophone player in the band? Yeah. They do. Can we get? Can we? Can we look that up? Can we look up whose job you'd be taking? Maybe if you were to join, the roots. yeah, let's pull up. Oh, that's my favorite thing to see. Let's another demo. I wanna... Oh yeah, Wait, can we get demo? uh yeah either another original or a cover might be interesting. Ooh, okay. Freeboard. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely know how that song goes. Uh... <laughs> let's hear your take on it. Do 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 Reaper! <laughs> wow. I love that part of Free. Wow, it is incredible the sounds you can make come out of that thing. That is a true uh, prodigal. I, I have good news. Oh, we've got good news. He has chosen the one member of the Roots that is white. Wow. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. Lateral incredible. Move. Lateral move for the Roots. Lateral move. <laughs> it's a white dude named Ian Hendrickson yeah. Smith is so what I'm being told by the council. Okay, so can he, can you, Jonks, can you kill him? Okay, so the wish is, the wish is to murder Ian Hendrickson Smith and replace his spot in the band yeah. with a nine-year-old boy. Can you kill him? <laughs> he looks Really killable. fast? Jonks, it looks easy. He looks killable. Can we pull up okay. a photo? Can we get it, yeah. can we get an image of, uh, of Ian Hendrickson Smith yeah. on the screen? All right, in the meantime... JJ, I want to give you an opportunity now to speak directly to the council. They're going to be the ones to decide whether or not we grant your wish to kill this man in cold blood and take his place on the band The Roots. Um, council, I think I would be a really good addition to The Roots. Um, I just think it would be really good, and I there really want to keep an eye on Jimmy. Oh, that guy looks like he should die. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's, that facial hair is not appropriate for this era. Um, I'm sure he's a lovely guy. Um, 
Um, Council, I just think I would be, and you know what? I would I would love to watch the games, too. I would like to watch all the celebrities eat the slime. Um, eat the slime? Is that what they're doing on that show these days? I think they eat slime. Um, <laughs> and I think it would be really fun to, to just keep an eye on Jimmy, too, and just make sure he's okay and that he's eating his um, vegetables and not um, losing the skin of his finger. Well, Council, you've heard it from JJ. And now it is time to decide his fate. And I guess also the fate of that guy. The poll will appear shortly and Council, you will vote to decide whether or not JJ will take the place of... I already forgot that guy's name. Ian Hendrickson Smith. Ian Hendrickson Smith. And take his place as the new saxophonist for The Roots. It says here his genre is jazz. His genre is jazz. How would you describe your genre of music, JJ? Um, it would be like jazz plus. So okay. it's like a better version of jazz. And can we get one more lick while we get this poll up? <laughs> Absolutely. And this does this does feel like the unavoidable evolution of jazz. This is where it was headed all along. I think if, if anyone was going to do it, it was going to be me. Undoubtedly, JJ. Well, it appears, it appears that this is another not close one. The council has voted in about a uh, uh, sixty percent majority here, and we can go ahead and close that out. There's that. This one's also not quite the runaway for the for the skin on the on the skeleton boy. But an affirmative vote nonetheless. JJ, the council has voted, and they've decided to grant your wish oh to God. kill the current saxophonist for the roots and take his place yes. on the band on Jimmy Fallon's show. Thank you so much, council. Thank you so much, John. All that's left now to do is say the magical words. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Hold the phone booth. Oh, wait. So, uh, I guess we're getting an incoming call from the magical phone booth. Let's uh, go ahead and pick that up. JJ, I, I don't, I'm not sure who's on the line. Hello? Hey, what's up, JJ? Oh, oh, hey, Jimmy. I've got some great news. Yeah? Remember that guy, that saxophonist that, that you're going to be replacing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't realize... Oh. I didn't realize that Jimmy was going to kill him. Hang up the phone. Oh. Step away from the phone. <laughs> Step away from the phone. <laughs> Step away from the phone. <laughs> oh my god, careful, JJ. <laughs> careful. Careful. Thank you, Jonks. Thank you. You're welcome, JJ. Farewell. Enjoy your place on the roots. Well, folks, we're three for three on the night with these travelers. But we've already hit our sub goal again. Which means it's time for more therapy. Yes, I can think of two subscribers tonight who are seemingly in desperate need of some therapy. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of our subscribers though tonight. We really appreciate it. We've unlocked our sub goal. We've hit 150 subs. I think we're I think we're approaching a record if we haven't already here at the Everything Now Show. Uh, but now it's time to head on back for some more therapy with the chat.
Bonjour. <laughs> it is my belief that the key to therapy is identifying the root cause of trauma. And in my school of thought, the root cause is always the beast. <laughs> we must kill the beast. He lives at the top of the mountain. Kill him. And he turns people into household objects. <laughs> Why does astrology seem real? Because the beast made it real. Astrology used to be a butler. And then the beast, in his arrogance, had a curse spill over onto his old house staff. And they turned the butler into astrology. Est-ce que tu peux parler mon français? Oui. C'est vrai! <laughs> Kill the beast. Can I write off to it? How do I get these comments are coming too fast? <laughs> it is as if the beast himself is typing. <laughs> we must go to the top of the mountain, the beast castle, and kill him. Sometimes therapy is less about the blind and more about stabbing a creature. Killing the beast. Thoughts on Stockholm Syndrome? Pretty cool. <laughs> In my opinion, not bad. As long as you let them stay human. Do not turn people into... Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> uh, so excited to be able to talk with you a little bit about some stuff that's going on in your head and stuff. So like, what's going on? Can I have good mental health like Gaston? Yes, wow. Okay, how, and you like that? Oh, hey, well, thank you so much for the raid, Leslie Tanner. Thanks so much for joining us. It's me, Jimmy Fallon. I'm here to give you some therapy, okay? <laughs> if anyone's got any questions or wants to work on their brain and stuff, let me hear what you gotta say. Um, how can we help me? <laughs> you can get a coffee for me in the next five minutes. If you don't, I'll fucking stab you with a fucking knife. With a sharp ass knife. I'll put a cigarette out on your forehead right beforehand. And then use the ash to draw a little smiley face on your goddamn five head. You got, you, you receding hairline prick. You think you're, you think you're hot shit? You're a 20 year old with a receding hairline. Go back to fucking college. Jimmy, Jimmy, Go back to film school, Jimmy, you piece of shit. Jimmy, Jimmy, watch out for your finger. <laughs> How do I stop laughing during funny skits on SNL? <laughs> I got a great solution for that. You and Nicole Kidman are gonna play a game where you try to remember the lyrics to a hit 90s song. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh gosh, are you hiring? You better believe it. But if you test me, you fucking coward, I will fucking bend your arms until they fucking break. Jimmy, no, this isn't the way. Jimmy, the finger. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> How do I sell NFTs on my late night show? Really carefully. Paris Hilton tried to do that shit. Paris Hilton tried to do that shit. She got in trouble for it. Can you believe that shit? She's so beautiful. <laughs> remember Nicole Kidman? Remember her? We almost dated. We almost went on a date. If you remember that clip? Do you remember the clip where me and Nicole Kidman almost went on a date? Jimmy, I'm going to kill you. Hello, it's me, Dr. Lupus Tamron. Earlier, I was made a fool of where they kept making me taller, so I'm back to be serious and give you some real therapeutic advice. So I'm happy, I'm happy to be back here. All right, let's take a look. <clears throat> yeah, hello, thank you. Hello. Um, why is my second pee, pee Okay, we don't need to talk about peepees that much anymore. I am a doc- Hey, 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 hey. Easy, easy, easy. Someone called Mega Man again. Hey, stop it with that. <laughs> stop it with that, okay? Stop. My hole is too big. What to do? This is, these are all physical ailments that you're experiencing. I'm a doctor of the mind. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm outside of the phone. <laughs> hey, you gotta stop this. Uh -huh. You gotta. You, hey, this feels really weird. Why are you stealing souls? Listen, this is part of the craft, okay? This is part of this 
part of doing business. Now put me down. Hey, 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 this really, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. What are those shadow hands all about? Is that another Mega Man thing? I don't know that much about Mega Man, if that's a, if that's a Mega Man reference. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> don't worry, I'm still here. I'm still, there we go. Now listen. <clears throat> listen, what you gotta do is you gotta figure out what your, what your personas are, okay? There's certain personas that live within the psyche. You gotta figure them out, you gotta pinpoint them. And now I'm on a shelf. I'm the little guy on a shelf. Um, <laughs> is this funny to everybody? Is this funny? Yeah. Is this funny to you? Oh, I'm just a little guy on a shelf now. No I'm just a little guy on a It's me, Abazol Ruby. I've traveled from my realm to help the good people of this realm <laughs> with my ways. <laughs> my ways are my own. You may not know them. They may be strange to you, but I think they could help. How do I do a whole week's worth of work before midnight tonight? Well, you use the ancient... <coughs> <laughs> oh my, <laughs> time travel, really. Does a does a number on you? I have not used to that. You can, you can use the time spinning spell to elongate the night, so that you may finish your work. Can your ways disappear? Can my ways disappear? Your anxiety? No, that they cannot do. They have limits, and anxiety is without outside of those. How do I deal with final stress? Well, I would take a nice walk in the sun. That's always nice for me. I take my scrolls and I go out in the sun and I show them to the sun. I let them get them sun, let them tan, get old, look rustic. Where can I get some sick shades in this dimension and timeline? The sunglass hut, I have heard. <laughs> they have some really good deals. Best way, oh, do you own a gun? Yes. Absolutely, and it's a good way to relieve stress, I think, to shoot guns. Hmm, advice for pondering orb addiction. Hmm, I have that as well, and I can't get over it. Welcome back, council members. I hope your therapy session was a success. And you, oh, pardon me. Got some indigestion there. Interesting, I haven't I haven't uh, eaten Mike, anyone yet Mike. tonight. Oh, Mike, Mike. Oh, the microphone's not on. 
Sorry, did that sound like I was far away? Anyway, folks, we're back. Mike's on. It's me. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your time in therapy. But now we're back here with me, Jonks. I noticed we got raided earlier. If you're just joining us, my name, of course, is Jonks. I'm a magical wish granting demigod. I live at the top of this mountain and travelers journey from far and wide to my magical domain, hoping that I will grant their wish with my magical powers. There are a variety of ways that you, the council, can interact tonight. One of them is to subscribe. Quite a few of you have done that tonight, and we've got some new uh, guest book entries from some subscribers. If you subscribe, you get to write a message in our guest book. We've got three new ones here on the right page. Let's see, can we go up just a touch there so I can read Endred 32's entry. Endred 32 says, Boyfinger, this is Endred 32's smoke show of a wife. Please stop. Our children don't have shoes. And then Boyfinger said, What if instead of Jonks, his name was Freaky Jonks? And instead of granting wishes, he ate ass and sucked toes. Wow. Wow. Two, two titans battling it out in the... In the guest book, and then watering, and then wandering stars got in there too. They said I had such a nice time on the mountain that I wished I lived up there with Jonks, but he said I talked too much about UFO conspiracy. Sorry, wandering stars. If you wanna, if you wanna chop it up like that, you're gonna have to head on over to the little Joe Rogan experience. All right, folks, we've got, we've got another traveler making their way over here. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus oh, fucking Christ. My goodness, Traveler. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you alright, What the hell? I'm a tra Traveler, what brings you to my... First of all, who are you? I'm oh. Sissy Fuss. Sissy Fuss? Sissy Fuss, yeah, you see this fucking mountain back here? I, uh, yes. You see this fucking mountain? The one in the distance. Every single day I've been dragging this fucking stone up this mountain right as I get to the fucking top, you know what happens? I couldn't tell the you. The damn thing starts to slip from my hands and falls right back down. And that sounds... Frustrating. It's a lot of fucking bullshit. Yeah, I think it's fucked up. Sissy Bus, what is it that brings you to my mountaintop then? Oh, I, th I wonder what could be bringing me to your fucking mountain. Yeah, you mountain. know what? I, I guess I should probably just Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Is. I think I'd like a third season for Big Little Lies. Yeah. Can we reach for a third season for Big Little Lies? Can we make that happen? We can make that happen. Careful, Sissy Fuss, because if you, if you wish ironically, we will make it happen. You gotta be careful. Monkey's paw and all that. Well, hold on a second. Give me one fucking second. Okay, wait. Hold on a minute. A third season of Big Little Lies actually sounds pretty good. Are do, you? Are you? Even can able you make to that happen? Watch? Is that I mean, something yes, you could do? We can absolutely make that happen. But are you even able to watch television when you're pushing the rock up the hill? I have an iPhone that I take. I got with me. Oh, okay. So it's like this for about half the climb. And you're just watching that thing on the on the iPhone. Yep. Thank you, Soggy Burrito, for the three months. Oh, um. God. You can probably set heavy. it down for right now, right? I can't. No? Oh, I can't. I see. I see. Okay. T t I, I was, and maybe I may have, a, maybe I have a misconception of the of the uh, of the lore. But my understanding of of Sisyphus's plight is that he was pushing a boulder that was kind of like on the ground and like rolling it. Do you understand how erosion works, you dumb fucking piece of shit? Do you understand how that shit fucking works? I've been rolling the fucking boulder for so long that it's gotten smaller over time. Oh. That seems good, right? Like, doesn't that mean it's easier now? It's not going away. I'm worried that I'm going to have to carry a fucking pebble up there eventually. Isn't you know what I mean? Because I keep fucking dropping the fucking thing and it gets smaller every time. It sounds like that's... It seems like it's getting easier every time you do it. Like the There's rock. still so much walking, okay? Okay, so it's the walking that's the problem. And I'm not a born per perambulator, Junks. You know what I mean? I don't, actually. What did you mean? It means walking, Junks. Perambulator? Perambulation, yeah. It means walking, Junks, ah, yeah. You're one of those... All right, well, uh, sissy fuss. What do you mean one of those? What are you talking about? Just like people who use unnecessarily big words. Wow, it sounds like Jonks got a prejudice against Big Little Lies fans, huh? Is that what it is? <laughs> How about you use some Big Littler words? Uh, oh, sissy sake, fuss, why don't, uh, why don't we get to the root of your wish here? It seems like we, we're kind of deciding between I've two got Look, wishes. all I know is that I've got to get back on that fucking mountain, so I've got about two minutes left before we need to put the, up to a boat fast. Oh, what? Does, like, do, who put you on the mountain? Was it Zeus? Do you think Thor? that if I fucking knew who put me on the fucking mountain that I wouldn't have had a word with them already? You think so? Well, this may be your opportunity to have a word with whoever it is because we're oh, Meryl, triggering Meryl, Meryl, the magical Meryl, phone. Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. Meryl who? 
Streep of oh, Marilyn. Oh, you want to talk Did to Meryl Streep? I don't know if you get to choose. It could be anybody, right? I want to talk to anybody, I don't right? think you get to choose who was on the magical phone booth, but maybe, I mean, it could be Meryl Streep. We'll see who it is. I really uh, hope are, it's Meryl. Who else could it be? I, why are you so confident it's Meryl Streep? I just feel like, who else could it be? I mean, it could literally be anybody. Okay, what is he? Oh, is, oh it's my tax man, you fucking rube. Who could it be? I, I don't so know. Why hope it's so Meryl. Why are you so mad at me, Sissy <laughs> I'm using the power of positive thinking. One we're, bringing in, we're bringing in the magical phone. One must imagine Sisyphus talking to Meryl Streep on the phone. You know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. One must imagine Sisyphus talking to Meryl Streep. All right, we're bringing All in right. the magical phone booth. Let's see who's on the line. Sisyphus! Oh, shit. Oh, God. It's my fucking boss. Where Hello? the hell do you think you are right now? Nowhere. You don't need to wear you. Uh, Hey, no, actually, wait, no, you know this guy. Remember Jocks? I know Jocks. He's we, one of the demigods, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you on his mountain and not on my mountain rolling up that rock? I'm here to, uh, borrow some sugar. Okay. Are you making some sort of dessert for the rest of us? What are you doing? It sounds like you're winking. No, 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 you know, I'm not going to do that. No, it's just stuffing it his calories, you know? It's caloric intake on the, all the walking up the hill and stuff. All right, well, you know, I almost uh, got mad at you here, but truthfully, I got you a gift. Yeah? And uh, I knew that you wouldn't be dinking around over on Jonks Mountain. You deserve this. Come in! Hi, it's me, Meryl Streep. Oh, my God, Meryl. Hi. Hey, look. Hello. I thought you really just made a fucking mess in season two. I'm okay? sorry? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Season one was an incredible piece well, of moving image art, you know? Okay. A big little lies, you know what I'm talking about? You know, if You they, came in and just made a fucking meal out of it's it, just you know if, what I mean? If no very similar to you just came in and started chewing up scenery like it was nobody's business. You know, what, it, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing, If, if Andrea Arnold got to, you know, have her whole vision, maybe it would have made a little more sense, I guess is all I would say. But, you know, at the end of the day... Uh, companies will be doing their thing. Are you, who is this? Let me put it this way. I loved you in Selfie's Choice and I'm choosing to hang up on your hammy ass. Here we wow, go. that was good. Step away from the phone. All right. Step I gotta go back. I gotta go phone. back. We gotta, we put the hole up now. I gotta go Step back. Step away from the phone. Sissy Fist, you've decided on what your wish is? Yeah. Big Little Lies season three, but season two never happened. Okay, so does that, just to clarify, does that make this new season, season two? You know Neon Genesis Evangelion. Of course. Yes. Yeah. You know how they did the rebuilds? Where it was like, it was like the end of Evangelion never happened, and the show never happened. It was a whole new yeah, thing. Yeah, they like retconned and like basically half the show. Oh, look who's using big words now, Mr. Smarty Pants. Oh, okay, but what's, I, I guess, what is the, what is I want to do that with Big Little Lies. I want to do it, I want to do it. Redo, idiot. I want to redo. No, because redo is different than No, retcon. no, no. We're splitting hairs here. All right. Reimagining. No, that's different than retcon too. Put it to a vote. Big Little Lies season three, season Get two, the never pull happened. Up. Get the poll up. We're deciding whether or not we should grant Sissy Fuss's wish of getting season three of Big Little Lies replaced. Or getting it, no, sorry, season two is erased, and season three, I guess, takes its place as the new season two? It's season two still exists, but season three is as if it's just never happened. Because I still want to have the gif of Meryl screaming at the dinner table for, for replies on Twitter, you know? I mean, yeah, it's a classic. Things are not looking good for me. Yeah, this might be the first. <laughs> All right. This might be the first denied wish of the night. Everybody's oh, well, a, like. everybody's afraid to mess with the oeuvre of Race with a Spoon. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I, I respect that. I thought, I've seen was, I thought Wild was okay. The council has voted and they have decided, Sisyphus, to deny your wish. Okay, back to the hill. All right, see you later. <laughs> They love me, you know. Farewell, Sisyphus. Ah, council members, I think you made the right choice there. Cats and Baron says, Cats and Baron says, Sorry, BB. You did great, but your wish is too powerful to the continuum. And Sailor Man says, Great stream concept. <laughs> Thanks. I agree. Welcome in, Sailor Man, and thank you. Uh, for joining us. Uh, do we have any new entries into the guestbook? We got a couple new subs. No. Excellent. Then I guess it's time now to meet our next traveler. 
My goodness. Who is this mysterious and sort of scary traveler? Hello, top of the morning to you. Hello, traveler. Hello. What is your name? Why, of course, <laughs> it is Mary Beth Fitzgerald Hershwitz. Marigold Hearth Fitzgerald? Marigold O. Fitzgerald Hershowitz. Marigold O. Fitzgerald Hershowitz. Why, yes. Marigold. Yes. What is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? I'm trying to catch the criminals. <laughs> You're trying to catch? What are these? Who are these criminals? Of which you speak, Marigold. Rapscallions! Okay. Hoodlums! Right. Ne'er do wells! Scum bombs! <laughs> Jamokes! These seem like synonyms for criminal. Yes! Marigold. You get it. But Marigold, please, yes. what is the nature of the crimes for which these uh, ne'er do wells are accused. Oh, I'll list the crimes. I would love to hear them. Tom foolery. <laughs> no goodness. How about General Riff Raff? Correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Preposterone. Council Member Preposterone. Making a mess of things. <laughs> well, I could see how that might trouble you, Marigold. It does. I'm a law and order candidate. Oh, I see. Wait, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Marigold, you're running for office. Yes! Uh, for, for what position are you running? Cop. <laughs> okay. Like, like sheriff? Or, uh, or like... One cop. Okay, yes. you just want to be one police officer. Yes. I see. Dress for the job you want, they say. <laughs> You kind of like, kind of like giving like uh, a confused Batman villain right now. No, <laughs> I'm giving a Commissioner Gordon. I see. Okay, so you want to be one of the good guys? Yes, serving Gordon as the youth say. Well, Marigold, I've got good news for you. Yes. Regardless of whether or not we grant your wish today, Marigold, just know that you're going to be taking home this. Fabulous prize! Oh, and they killed you. Well, what? Let's see. No. Well, let's see. Let's see what you would have been taking home if the council member didn't decide to murder you. Oh, that's not it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That looked Weirdly, pretty good. That wasn't it. How is that not it? Yeah, that's right. That's fine. That looked good. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Hot dog. One hot dog. One hot dog. One hot dog. One cop. Hot dog with mustard. Mine. Unfortunately. Marigold, the council has donated five dollars, which means it's time to roll that bumper. Marigold, one of our council members has donated five dollars, which means in just a moment I will eat you, blood, bones, and all, unless you are able to convince the council to donate ten dollars and spare your life. For each dollar that you donate, I will take down one criminal. <laughs> Here is the list. Killer Croc! <laughs> the Tinkerer! Captain Cold! The Purple Pie Man! Joseph Biden! <laughs> Beazelbub! Frederick Kruger! My dad! <laughs> the concept of envy! The character of envy in Inside Out! <laughs> Am I up to eight or nine? I think it's more than nine. France! <laughs> I'll take France down once and for all. Soccer clear. If you make me one cup. And oh, by the way, I'll kill the beast. <laughs> <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. But yeah, I'll kill the beast. <laughs> John, you ready to eat this pervert? He's not going to be candlesticking anyone. Well, unfortunately. No, Marigold, 
Although <laughs> your ambitions are admirable, no it appears... Oh, I forgot to move my mouth. Although your ambitions are admirable, Marigold, it appears that you have not won the favor of the council. And so now, do you have any last words? Yes, I do. <laughs> Say them under the microphone, please. Where's the microphone? It's behind you. <laughs> So far, but... <laughs> That's mine. Okay. Well. All right. Yeah. Give me a go that way. Hear my last words. It's a living. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yum 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 yum. <laughs> yum 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 <laughs> yum yum. Delicious. Marigold tasted like a loose cigarette. Well, folks, one sacrifice on the night, and a delicious one at that. But there are still some travelers yet to meet, and I think I see the next one approaching me now. <sighs> What brings you to my mountaintop domain, and what is your name? There's a Ike up here, man. Yes, indeed. It's me, Carlos Lemon Lime. <laughs> Carlos Lemon Lime. Hi, Jonks. Carlos Lemon Lime. You're so much bigger in person. Thank you, I guess. All the Instagram posts. The Instagram posts? They make you look, yeah, you got your own geotag, my guy. For real, for real? For real, for real. And they make I'm, me I'm look God. small? Huh? They make me look small? Yeah, I think it's just for the perspective, you know? It's usually a selfie, so, like, people look really big and uh, look really tiny. I see. I was expecting, like, a Mona Lisa situation. Ah. Uh, you get up and you're like... Well, that's the like, opposite. Oh, it's really small, but you're you're way bigger. Right. Mona Lisa, notoriously the opposite effect, yeah? Notoriously op the opposite. Anyway... I was gonna bring, like, a soup, a, a soup and dump it on you and do, like, make a whole stink, but... I see. I'm, but, uh, I appreciate you not doing that, I was going to do Carlos. that as a prank. <laughs> Please don't prank me, Carlos. Yeah. What is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? Man, I'm pissed. You're pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed off, Tell man. me why. Because ah, I'm just trying to game. I'm just trying to game. You're a gamer, Carlos. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Yeah, I game. What do you as play? As you can see. That's a GameCube controller. I play retro. I'm a I retro see. gamer. Been playing some Pikmin. Pikmin. Been playing some MX vs. ATV Unleashed. Okay. Been playing some SSX Tricky. Any melee? Melee, no. Not into melee. No, I played melee once and I and I died. And I'm I'm like I'm like I'm, like a, I'm a guy who like if I'm not good at something immediately I get really mad and say like actually you suck at it and actually I'm really good at this and I actually don't want to play this game anymore because I'm so good. Understandable, Carlos. Yeah. You um, ever play Super Monkey Ball? Super Monkey Ball's my shit, man. Oh, hell yeah. I love Super Monkey Ball, dude. Do you fuck with Super Monkey Ball? Oh, oh hell Monkey yeah. Ball, man. Who do you play as? Who do I play there's as? Gong, yeah, there's Gong Gong, Mimi, I I. <laughs> Which I'm, super monkey do you play? I'm not that into it, bro. bro. Y'all don't know about Gong Gong? I'm not that into it, man. What about That's... Baby? I just play as, I, I don't know, I just play as a stock guy. What's All the stock right. guy's name? I think his name is I I. I I, Captain. All right. Yeah, I play as I I. Carlos. But I'm trying to game, and yeah. my mom just keeps coming into my room, says, make your bed, clean out your closet, stop playing video games. And and so it's it I it just it cramming my style. I see. You know? Um so yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough being a gamer out here. Your wish is to have independence to play video games whenever you like. Well kind of. Okay. Uh my wish is for Master Chief to come to life. <laughs> okay. That feels like a slight departure. So so that he can have sex with my mom. You want Master Chief to fuck your mom? Yes. To what end, Carlos? Well, you see, my mom's uh, my mom's lonely, so there's there's that solution. But also, 
if she makes the connection to like a video game character, like love, making love to a video game character, then she'll just, she'll like video games and she'll be, you know, well satisfied in that end. And also she'll let me play games. So, you know, bring Master Chief to life. And he's just like the hottest video game character. So like- So in this universe, your, your mom understands that Master Chief is a video game character. Yeah. And she's having sex with him and, and grows an appreciation and an affinity for video games by nature of her sexual relations with Master Chief from Halo. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Well, uh, this one feels pretty straightforward. I guess, yeah, uh... Really? Okay, we're just down. We're cool I, with that? Well, no, I just, I mean, I understand the wish. Oh, no. Unfortunately for you, Carlos... Carlos. What happened? It appears that okay, Council okay, okay, Member okay. Nova maybe, Flareon... Maybe Master Chief isn't the hottest video game character. We can debate this. I, I'm open to my mom, you know, having a relationship with any video game character. Let's shout out some hotter ones. Let's Council shout out members, some, Let's workshop this. Help, help Carlos workshop some other video game characters to fuck his mom. That are maybe hotter than Master Chief. But just remember, unless you donate $10, his mom's not fucking any... Okay, That's there it is. <laughs> Okay. okay, the suggestions are coming in hot. All they wanted was an open discussion, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm okay with that. We don't need to go killing anybody. We can all discuss who the hottest, who the hottest video game character is. Got a few people suggesting Crash Bandicoot. A lot of people are wanting Crash Bandicoot to have sex with your mom. Okay. How do you, right. how's that, how's that? I'm uh, trying to picture him in my head. I keep thinking it's, um, who's the other... No, I, that's... No, Crash I get, Bandicoot's like an orange guy. He's sort of shaped like an upside-down triangle. Dr. Neo Cortex? He's from the games. You thinking about Jack? Jack. Jack and Daxter. Daxter. These are all... See, I'm a GameCube guy. These are... These are... These are PlayStation... That's a PlayStation character, right? What about Ratchet? Or Clank? Ratchet or Clank? Yeah. Okay. How about Spyro? One. Yeah, that's another PlayStation character. You're, you keep naming PlayStation We characters. need Nintendo characters to have They don't have to be. I mean, I mean, Master Chief's an Xbox character. I but, guess you that's know, true, yeah. But he's, like, ubiquitous, you know? Right. A channel from Sonic. <laughs> Ch a chow? Like, the little, the little, the little, like, pets yeah, that you take care of? Okay. How about Egghead, or Egg, what is the guy? Eggman. Egg Eggman? Eggman. Eggman's pretty hot. Bob Burnquist. Bob Burnquist from Tony Hawk Pro Skater? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. But the video game character. Yeah, so he's kind of like pretty low def in real life. Yeah, yeah, he's yes. low poly. Yeah. With a sack boy! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? Set, sack boy! Is that Don Pardo? <laughs> Don Pardo's here. <laughs> Musical <laughs> yes. Sack boy! And your home! Sack boy wearing a skin! <laughs> oh! Is that resonating with you, Carlos? Um, I don't know. I'm so indecisive. Maybe oh like, God. maybe everyone, and yeah, maybe everyone can, uh, maybe everyone can, uh, we can like vote on it or something. You ever play All right. on Porto 64? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I never got to that game actually. I heard the it was. The ray tracing is pretty buggy. <laughs> All right, we're yeah, gonna put that's a poll. When they, that's when they were testing out ray tracing in the 64. It really didn't go well. We're, we're putting together a poll to to choose a couple of. Uh, oh, thank you, Pilsy. We're gonna put together a poll to vote on which uh, which video game character is gonna have sex with your mom in this wish. So this isn't the wish. This is just to decide which video game character is in the wish. Musical guest. Smashing pumpkins. Oh. And your host, Banjo and <laughs> Kazooie. There we go. Yes. That's who I thought Crash Bandicoot was. Clip it and was shoot Banjo, it. Was Banjo and Kazooie. I, I heard Crash Bandicoot and I thought of Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, All right, let's 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 put some of the big ones that we've listed so far into Donkey this Donkey Kong. Uh, Crash Bandicoot's got to be in there. I think we have to put Master Chief in the mix because he was from the original True. pitch. Featuring Cranky Kong and a cartoon by Lanky Kong. Okay. <laughs> he seems. Oh, Mario. He seems like an animator. I think Mario's got to be in there. Uh, a lot of people have been saying Samus, and I think that's okay. We, you, you can. Ganondorf. Your mom, Ganondorf's your mom can have good. lesbian sex with Samus, right? That, that, yeah. Also okay. seeing Laura Croft. 
Laura Croft. Uh, oh, Wario. Yeah, definitely get Wario in the Wario mix. Wario gives Uncle energy, but that's okay. Y'all got Dick Dug in there? <laughs> dig what? Y'all got Dick Dug in there? Dig Dug? Yeah, Dig Dug. Hmm. All right. Pokemon? How much? No, you're thinking of Diglett. You're thinking of Diglett or maybe Doug Trio. No, no, no. I'm talking about Dig Dug. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking to the other that's guy. That's like an arcade who's, who's guy, asking right? It was a Pokemon. It's an Ar Dig Dug's like an arcade guy. Right? Yeah. He's an arcade guy. Yeah. What about Wreck It Ralph? Are we counting him? No. No. <laughs> okay. No. All right. All right. All right. No. Jesus. Musical guest for Rapple the Rapper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And your host. <laughs> All right, get the poll up. What about Adam Sandler's Get the poll up. Whoever's in it, whoever's in it's in the poll. Okay, it's not a good, it's not a robust list. This is a lot. It's literally going off the screen. Yo, how did Gex get on there? This is bullshit. <laughs> All right, put the, can we adjust the, or is, is seven Donkey the last Kong? one? That's okay. I can't even Your options him. are Donkey Cum, <laughs> Master Chief, my finger slipped, I'm sorry. Mario, Ganon Dong, your finger slipped twice? Sorry. <laughs> Laura thing? Croft, Dig me. Dug, or Gex? Gex Enter the Gecko! <laughs> Gex is a pun on sex, I don't know if you caught that. I did uh, not. I don't think that's true. I decided that. I don't know about when that. I, when I typed it in, I decided that was true. You're like, rule of three, Donkey Kong, Ganon Dong, and what's the third one? Gex. 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 Yeah. Uh, mix of gex and sex. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, course. I didn't. I didn't see of it. Of course. Of course. I didn't get it's it. Block. All right. Half of these are blocked by the camera, so I can't see who's winning. One of the most gex. like participated polls that we've had, just in terms of the raw number of votes. <laughs> Now this like, is comedy. They Pokemon, vote for Gex. <laughs> Wait, so Gex is a what? Is Gex, what, what is Gex? Gex? Can we get a photo? Can we yeah, get an image get of Gex, Gex on here. the screen? Yeah. He does parodies of movies. <laughs> oh, okay. Like a 3D, you know, platform and mascot. All right, and then let's also, and then we're also gonna do a poll to decide whether or not Gex fucks this guy's mom. I feel like I'm at a party. <laughs> Which is not. his wish. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. We're killing this guy. Wait, 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 just, so, just so, to give you a frame of reference, here's what Gex looks okay. like. Okay. So everyone okay. knows we're on the same page. Just so that everybody's on the same page. We don't want anybody to hear me out. This what? is Gex. Hold on. Oh. Wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Uh, it's upside down. That's Gex. That's Gex. Wait. That's, that's Gex. That's what Gex looks that's like. That's a Gex. Wait, this is a video game, guy? This is a Gecko? Yes. That's him, absolutely. Okay. Um, Gex, say something in one of your famous lines. <laughs> Gex. It's time for me to get Gexing. <laughs> That's gotta be. for what joining us episode, we are the everything now show we do this show four nights a week every monday tuesday thursday and saturday night so if you had fun at this one come on back thursday night for a brand new episode it will not be jonks it will be something completely different but it will still be interactive comedy that you can control with subs and uh donations and polls and chat and all that shit um thank you so much to everybody especially uh to our two massive yeah. Wow. Sub gifters tonight. Uh, we really appreciate the support from everybody everyone who uh, donated. We really appreciate it It helps keep the show going 
Uh, we've got a variety of social media accounts and we encourage you to follow them all because we're posting content everywhere, folks. You can watch highlights of the show here on the Everything Now Show YouTube channel. You can watch clips on the Everything Now Show TikTok. You can see behind the scenes photos from the show, including photos from tonight's episode on the Instagram and you can get look, go live notifications here on uh, Twitter as well as in our Discord, which you gotta join, folks. Sailor Man, welcome to the fold. Make sure to join the Discord. You gotta get in the Discord. Make sure to join. Uh, that is where you can submit images for us to use on the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we also have a secondary Twitch channel up there. This is the main wow. channel where we do the show, but if you're interested in seeing normal Twitch stuff like gaming content and React stuff and uh, Rocky, are you gonna be playing Animal Crossing tomorrow? I'm gonna be playing some freaking Animal Crossing oh, tomorrow. Let's go. If you wanna see Rocky play some Animal Crossing or me do some mother shit maybe on Friday or just other kind of just casual content. Grant's gonna be on there. Grant's gonna no. be in the mix. Nope. Um, he loves it. He loves nope, the nope, idea. Nope, 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 Drop nope. us a follow on the Hangout channel. If you type exclamation point Hangout, you will get a link to it. You can follow that link to our secondary channel. Follow that channel too for more ENS content. Uh, anything else, boys, that I forgot to mention? Merch coming soon? Merch, merch coming, coming soon. soon! Wow, that's a cool piece of merch over there. It looks great. Right off, Damn, yeah, right. should we show it? Should we Can show we? It? Are, Are we allowed, allowed to? Yeah. Uh, they know. Uh, we've, we've, sh sh we've shown it, be we've shown yeah, it before. Yeah, we've shown it. We've revealed but it. But folks, it's a, it's a forest green version of the hat that we offered previously. Ooh, wow. check out that fresh new colorway, wow. folks. Forest Green coming soon to the Everything Now Show website where you will be able to purchase that hat as soon as the stickers that go with it arrive. This, this colorway is going to so, make so much damn money, it's going to be like the colorway of water. James Cameron, Avatar. Dude, wow. really I know good. that's right. Really wow. good. I know that's right. Wow. Grant came into the boardroom and he wrote hats on the whiteboard. <laughs> but, and then, and then he added put the dollar, dude, sign the dollar sign on the S. It's damn right. right. Yeah. Yep. Damn right. Um, you know, normally we would announce the guests, but uh, interestingly enough, we actually have Dom Pardo in the house this evening. I don't oh, know. If Don, Don would like to maybe announce the guests for this evening. <laughs> that's that's a crazy ass of Don. Musical guest Sarah Rubin <laughs> and your musical guest Griffin <laughs> Newman. Come on. Pose under the signs. Drake a pose. Thank you. Drake a pose for the gram. That is going on the Instagram. Oh, that's big time going on the gram. Great job, great job, great job, great job. Griffin's you too. Here. Thank you so much for joining us. We, we are going to be putting some of your plugs in the chat for social media right now. But that's if true. there's anything to tell the people about, now is the time to do it. No, absolutely nothing. I'd like to not speak. Wow. I, would like, I would like to plug my dear friend Sarah Rubin. Oh, oh. Hey. one of the best hey. there is. I'd like to plug, funnily enough, my dear friend Griffin Newman. Oh. Oh. This is so oh. nice. Oh. You love to see it. Oh, selfless people in the entertainment industry. Who knew? Yeah, who for knew? once, who for once in our it. freaking go lives. follow them. Their their ads are right there in the chat. Go give oh, them sure. a follow. So they true. both make very cool stuff. You're gonna want to follow these people, folks. You're gonna want to drop. Give them the old everything now show bump. Blank check with Griffin David. Best film podcast ever made. I know that's right. Sorry. I know that's right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not I was really sad when John Hughes lost to Spike Lee, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. I just thought could have been cool. Could have been really cool for me. A guy who grew up in the Chicago suburbs could have been a really big moment for me. But whatever, it is what it is. Uh, all right, folks. I think uh, it's time to raid somebody. I think so. And on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific, we're gonna see an all new episode of Everything Now Show featuring Danny Colucci and some other folks. It's gonna be real fun. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Hell yeah. So please Whoa. join us, no Come matter what the format Thursday. is. Oh, don't, what, what? I don't know what we're doing. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, see you later. Who are we rating? Uh, we're gonna raid good friend of the show, Matt Real. Matt Real. Oh, yeah. shit, Matt Real. Wow. Looks like he's doing some stuff Matt. with Cinema 4D. It looks fun. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. Love that. Say hi to Matt for us. Folks, and we love mid-2010's BuzzFeed, and we're gonna continue that trade right. tonight. <laughs> BuzzFeed we can do no wrong. When it was good, and I worked there for six months. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye. BuzzFeed no more of that content. Dude, hey, yes. that's why it's yes. called that, actually. Did we get that? Are we still live? Can we go back live for that? And we're out. And we're out. Look for